डू यू एवर वंडर कि आपको कभी कभी इतने स्पेसिफिक एड्स कैसे आते हैं ऑफन ये एड्स तभी आते हैं जब आपको उस प्रोडक्ट या उससे सिमिलर प्रोडक्ट की जरूरत होती है जैसे फूड डिलीवरी ऐप से ट्यूजडे शाम को छोले कुछ या चाट का एड आएगा राइट वेन यू फील लाइक इटिंग समथिंग इतने हाई लेवल के टारगेटेड एड्स कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर डेटा को एनालाइज करने से आते हैं और ये डेटा तभी एक्यूरेटली एग्जीक्यूट हो सकता है जब इसे ठीक से डिजाइन किया गया हो इन सच ए वे दैट इट इज एक्सेबल एंड फंक्शनल आइए सीखते हैं फ्रॉम प्रोफेसर चंद्रशेखर ऑफ आई टी बैंगलोर अबाउट हाउ टू मॉडल दिस डेटा एंड गेट द मैक्सिम आउटपुट Before data can be loaded into the data warehouse, we first need to create appropriate structures for storing the data. By structures, we mean what should be the tables, what should be the columns, what should be the data types and so on. This process is called design of the data warehouse. We will not talk about a specific design technique. This technique is called dimensional modeling. The two key elements of dimensional modeling are dimensions and facts. Let us talk about facts first. The basic numeric data that we want to analyze is a fact. In general, numeric attributes are called fact variables. In our investments data file, the investment amount is an example of a fact variable. Now, can you look into the company data file and identify a fact variable? You are right. Funding total USD is a fact variable in the company data file. Several fact variables and corresponding facts make a fact table. I hope you are with me till this time. Now, let us talk about dimension variables. Dimension variables add life to the fact variable. What I mean by that is dimensions can be used as the basis for analyzing the fact data. The sector list is an example of a dimension variable. The information of the company being funded and even the funding agency information is an example of dimension variable. You can see that Without these dimension variables, the fact variables are meaningless. What analysis can you do with a big bunch of numbers without having any additional information about those numbers? That is why dimension variables can be thought of as metadata corresponding to the fact variable. Several dimension attributes, for example, company permalink, name, sector list, country code, state code, region, city, along with all their values make up the dimension table now. What it means is the analyst can choose any of these attributes to initiate analysis. I may want to analyze the investments on the basis of sector or the state code or even the city. Let us try to understand uh, how we can develop star schema okay, with an example. And um, I know hopefully this example will also tell you the need for a star schema and uh, no, wherein we will say that just a mere collection of data is not good enough for analysis. Okay? Let us take the example from the e-commerce domain because that is something that we all understand. It is easy to relate to. So, let me begin by talking about that. So, suppose I have a very simple collection of data. So, date of purchase of uh, some product, the product that was purchased, the customer who purchased, the product and let us just go with uh, quantity for now, right. So, how does the data look like? So, we can say, say 5th Jan 2017, pizza was brought, bought by John, he bought some two quantities, right. So, on 6th Jan 2017, Coke and by John again, five quantities were purchased and so on. So, like that we have lots of information. So, if you want you can even imagine I have 10 million such instances, right. So, if I were to represent this in the in the form of a, of a schema diagram, so it will look something like this. So, I will say I am having date of purchase, I am having the product that was purchased, I am having the customer who purchased the product. product and I am having the quantity that was purchased. So, this is the schema to begin with. Now, you say what kind of analysis can I do? Sure, I can find out in all how many products did uh, John purchase. So, I can uh, you know, identify John from this customer table and then I can total it up and then say John purchased this many quantity. 
So this is good enough to do certain types of analysis, certain amount of analysis, right? So I, of course, I can also find out, just tell me what is the total quantity that was uh, purchased for uh, each product, right? So how much of pizza was purchased, how many Cokes were purchased and so on. When I want to summarize this particular information based on this information alone, there is certain number of reports I can create, right? But it's definitely not interesting, okay? Suppose I want to ask the question, right? Um, what do people from Bangalore uh, purchase in general? If I look into this particular database, that information is not here, right? In general, what is the soft drink sales? If I look at this, once again, there is no information. Generally, what is very hot during weekends? Well, if I look at that, that information is not here either. Right? So, the star schema is essentially useful for augmenting your main data with additional information that is useful for analysis. Okay? So, let me develop that schema for you. Right? So, we talked about products. So, what I can say, merely the name of the product is not good enough. Right? Because uh, for all you know, the name of the product will be not as generic as pizza. It will probably say a specific flavor, specific size, that is a product, right? For example, a regular veggie lovers uh, pizza without any, with two toppings is one specific product, okay? So, what I want to do is I want to augment it with additional information. So, I will say all that additional information about the product is captured in a separate table. So, here I will say the name of the product, the category of, to which the product belongs, right? So, is it food product or is it an electronics product? No, all kinds of categories, right? I can have lots of information about that, right? Similarly, with customers, of course, I will have the name, but then I will have the city to which they belong, the uh, category of the customer. You may not have realized the date itself can be made quite interesting, correct? So, it is just not 5th January 2017, right? In addition to the date itself, I will say, what is the day of the week is it, okay? So, is it a holiday, okay? So, all that information for each date, I will uh, store it separately, right? So, now what you can see is slowly what is getting developed is looking like a star because this is like a star schema. So, this is called the dimension table and this is called the fact table, right, in the star schema. So, with every dimension table that you have, with every attribute that you have in the dimension table, you can use it for analysis, right. So, now that I have category information as part of the product, now you can ask the question, what is the sale of electronics that's happening in terms of quantity, right? So, maybe if it is just USB pen drive, the quantity is very high. So, how many 70 inch televisions are getting sold, right? So, I want to see, now I can analyze every attribute that is present in my dimension table can be used for analysis, right? Same thing with customers, right? Now, I can use city for my analysis. Um, maybe I have uh, more information about the customer type, right? Is, a, is it a working professional? Um, are we talking about students, right? Things like that. No, similarly, whether it's a holiday or not. So, all of this information now can be used for analysis and this is made possible only because of the star schema, right? Even as we were speaking, what we ended up doing is creating a star schema. So, star schema is nothing but augmenting your fact table with lots of additional metadata as we say, right? Metadata is data about the, the data itself. So, the more metadata you augment it uh, with, the more useful it is for analysis. So, every attribute you include in the dimension table can now be used for analysis and can be used for asking questions that is not possible when you have only the fact data. Only with this data, there is hardly any intelligent questions you can answer. So, you want to augment it with additional information. That additional information goes into the dimensions of the 
star schema and the central fact table itself gets enriched and your analysis can be much more richer. शायद मेटा डेटा ही आपको ऐसे वीडियोस रेकमेंड कर रहा है तो हमें भी अपने स्कीमा में ऐड कर लीजिए बाय प्रेसिंग द बेल आइकन बाकी इफ वी हिट यू राइट ऑन दिस वन मे बी चेक आउट आर डेटा कोर्सेज दे आर इवन बेटर